What's popping, baby? What's going on in the life of a vertigo between the 1st and the 15th of September? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Bad, bad contest. You in first place. Who in first place? Cousin, you in first place. Cousin, turn up for your birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Virgos. It's Virgo season. Everybody hide your wallets. Y'all know y'all like money, whatever, because you're my cousins. But don't hide your wallet. Pull them out because it's birthday season. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, so do you. And if they hating, cousin, tell them, screw you. Happy birthday to you. And for those of us who my real cousins, who my real cousins. You see, I put the shimmies on for y'all birthday. Ah, who my real cousins. And we go, and we go, and we go, and we go, and we go on shopping. <laughs> and we go twerk it like, hey, happy birthday, Virgo. What's up, baby? What's popping? I know y'all was like, what is Mocha at? Thank you for all the reminder emails with y'all crazy asses. I ain't forget y'all. I was going by the views. I was trying to be fair. Okay. But happy birthday. Y'all already knew we was finna turn up for y'all birthday. You know y'all my baby's cousin. Yes. What's popping? This will be from the 1st to the 15th of September for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for Virgo. <laughs> this is not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description below the video. Um, this is a, just a general, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, y'all take what does and leave what does not. All right. Also, this ending August 31st, I have a $10, 10 minute, one question, one answer. Okay. 10 minute, one question. I'm going to stop saying one card reading because I do what Spirit tell me to do, but it's 10 minutes, okay? One question. And that will be available up until the 31st of August. I am available usually with the 10 minute readings, any reading pretty much the same day because y'all know if you've done a reading with me before, you know I schedule quickly. Um, So we get them in and definitely get you taken care of, all right? So, y'all, healing. Y'all better be careful during this month because children energy is in the building. <laughs> Intuitively, y'all, I feel great doing y'all video right now. I was supposed to do Taurus first. If you're a Taurus and you cross watching for Virgo, y'all energy was pretty lit. So I had to do my cousins first, okay? No disrespect, Taurus. Y'all are coming, but I had to let that energy, that full moon energy kind of let the intensity of it with how it's affecting some of y'all go down because it's been crazy, all right? So, wow, we we rocking, all right? The first message for you guys comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? It's Larimar. Oh, I'm so rude. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I may cuss a little bit. I may cuss a lot. I don't know. Depending on what the hell these cards say. But to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. We don't do all that drama shit over here. Leave that negativity at the door. Wipe your feet off and then come back in. We don't do that. All right? Don't let the damn AC out. Close the door behind you. We don't want them extra people. But we enlighten. We love. We uplift. We evolve. We grow. All right? We a big happy family up in here. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Y'all, I appreciate it. Y'all, we finna hit 5K. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing for the 5K, but I'm going to do something special for y'all. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I just can't thank y'all enough. And I'm just very, I'm not going to cry right now, but oh my gosh, I'm just very appreciative. I'm humble as I don't know what. Um, a big ball of love. And thank y'all for receiving me. And I receive you back. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Also, Virgo, I'm, I promise y'all I'm always through these damn announcements. My 30-minute reading is $65. Y'all have a 30-minute for $50 for your birthday special, which ends on the 22nd of September. So get in on your birthday special, okay? Save that $15. I'm trying to save you some shmine. All right? Let's rock. The message that you guys got first was Larimar. It says, sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness, okay? It says, 
You received this card because you've been feeling extra sensitive. Perhaps empathetically absorbing negativity or other people's fear energies have compounded the emotions you were already dealing with. Connected to a situation that you possibly already endured. You may have felt upset without knowing why or perhaps, or, or perhaps your mind has grasped, grasped for reasons to justify your sadness and you've begun to worry. Now that we've identified some of the foundations for your sensitive emotions, let's go ahead and clear you of anything that is not from God and your higher self. Since you pulled a card related to the oceanic civilization of Atlantis, going to the ocean or soaking in the in a warm bath full of sea salt will be appropriate way will be an appropriate way to draw out physical and energetic toxins. Plus the experience of self care raises your confidence and helps you relax. Be very compassionate with yourself and use discernment about where and with whom you spend time. This is a time to avoid harsh energy as much as possible as you honor your need for gentleness, rest, and healing, okay? Y'all, <clears throat> respect your feelings. Respect your emotions during this time, and you make sure that you're going to let anybody, mama, cousins, daddy, anybody in your personal space, that they're doing the same, okay? Stand up for yourself. Authenticity. We talked about this, I believe, either last month, the 1st to the 15th, or mid-month. We talked about this authenticity, though. Just like other tarot readers. Y'all, y'all my babies. So it's your birthday season. You Virgos or free spirits. So with that, I know 90% of y'all going to twerk for your birthday. So why would more? When y'all not looking, baby, and I'm going to arch my back. Okay, I'm new to YouTube. I've lost a lot of weight. The fact I got on the one piece, I can see my feet and I feel good about myself. I've lost so much weight. I love the hell out of myself. And I feel like a lot of y'all are coming into that energy during this time. And it's like, it's a beautiful feeling. Embrace that. Don't live in other people's fears and their, and their judgment. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't. <sighs> who the fuck are you to tell me who, what, who, what, when, where, how I should do anything? Boo, last time I checked, I'm walking this journey on my path, and you walking on your path, and sometimes they don't always coincide together, so watch my shoes, all right? Straight like that. During this time, Mother Guy wants to speak to y'all, honey. I do see, some of y'all could be dealing with Pisces, <laughs> and with this, also, uh, a lot of y'all, third eye, uh, there's a lot of new light workers. Coming in from the sign of Virgo, I'm seeing from the 1st to the 15th, baby. Do not be afraid of your dreams and do not be afraid of vision. Some of y'all are going to have premonitions while you're awake. Remember that you live here on earth, okay? So just watch. I feel like some of y'all are going to be scared of judgment, okay, from other people. But during this time, be very sensitive with your emotions. Respect how you feel. Respect your respect. The environment around you, okay? I mean, respect yourself within the environment around you, meaning... If you know you're going around some judgment, just know when and where, okay, to speak and say certain things. Have a little tech about it this month. Also, I'm also seeing a lot of y'all are working on your chakras. If you're not, you need to because a lot of you guys are needing to get realigned. During this time, realigning of the chakras is taking place. So you may feel a little all over the place. It may be a little uncomfortable. You're going to find it very peaceful if you actually meditate during this time, okay? But your third eye is going to be dumb, all right? All right. Also, with the child, some of y'all could be going through issues with your children right now. Some of y'all could also be finding out that you're pregnant during this time with this knowledge and the child card. OK, some of y'all, some of y'all had thought y'all was going to walk away from a relationship. You thought you was done with somebody and then boom, you find out you're pregnant with this person. For some of y'all, this, this was infinite. It was meant for it to happen. This was definitely part of the soul contract that you signed to come here. OK, so just live it out. Live you go live. Go live your best life. Because, OK, accept it. I'm talking to somebody. Spirit says a few of y'all who are not accepting of this pregnancy, or if it's not you, it's the person who you're pregnant by. They're not accepting. Do not allow that to tear your spirits down, baby. Look, this is a blessing. This is a gift, okay? Not everybody can have children, all right? With that said, if you can have children, you thank God for that because not everybody's womb can that, that can create that blessing. And, every, and there's a lot of people who want children who cannot have them, so be grateful. Be thankful, okay? Somebody needed to hear that, all right? Um, but some of y'all be careful because the energy of children is around you. With uh, Also, what I'm seeing, some of y'all could also, with your older children, I'm seeing, some of y'all could actually be, I'm sorry, y'all, I, I, my eyelash got connected. I, I ain't cross-eyed and nothing. I just seen what I look like on the camera, like, jeez. <laughs> but no, <laughs> um, my little, I got stuck. But um, your older children, some of y'all are going to be healing. 
a situation. Some of y'all, um, some of your children who are older, I'm speaking to a few single moms right now, especially if you have a daughter. Your daughter is going going through some things right now, and she may want to talk to you and open up. And I feel like for somebody, this is the opportunity to build with this young lady because I feel like for the past few years, y'all been kind of distant. And she wants the relationship just like you want the relationship. For some of y'all, it's actually your mother and you're the child and you're wanting a relationship with your mom. Y'all working on that during this time, okay? The energy for healing is definitely in the building, but you have a choice to make, Virgo. In love, you have a decision to make. Some of y'all some of y'all are just needing to choose to go down the path that you're destined for. And I feel like some of y'all know what you need to do, but you're running from it, even though you know that you need to make that decision and you have to make it during this time, okay? But some of y'all, um, some of y'all, you're going to be dealing with the fire element, possibly in Aries or in, or a Sash. This person is being defensive towards you about this child and is making you doubt yourself, okay? Respect your respect your surroundings, respect yourself and the people who you uh, allow to have around you, okay? People going to only do what you allow. So in a, in, a, in a game of tug of war, okay, any party can choose to just let the damn rope go because the thing is can't nobody pull if you don't if you're not pulling they can't pull back you get what i'm saying so for what you know you have to respect yourself during this time i'm also seeing some of y'all are going to be going back to school during this time a lot of y'all are going to be learning about the arts <laughs> mystics okay magic or some of y'all are going to be um a lot of y'all are going to be doing Something about the woods. Bonfires and I see bonfires. I see um somebody is researching some type of some type of like it's generational. Whoever I'm talking, you come from a generation of mystics, and maybe you're just coming into this, you're finding that you're the child of like a witch or um Maybe a shaman. I'm seeing that. Some of your downloads are going to be very revealing for some of you as far as your lineage, okay? As well as opening up to your spiritual abilities during this time, I'm seeing. But with this choice card, also, um, some of y'all are dealing with a man. This could, this man could be another Virgo like you. This person, they keep everything close to their chest, but this person is like walking sage wisdom. This person, they third eye is booming. They could also be, again, another Virgo like yourself. But this person is very wise. For some of y'all, this is a, he's a very wise person in a young person's body. Like this soul had been here many, many times before. And for some of y'all, this person is helping you learn or kind of hone your spiritual, your, your spiritual gifts during this time. Okay. Yep. Wisdom. A lot of y'all walking in y'all power. You're being that light at the end of the tunnel. You're being the sage that you're called to be. Virgo is, Virgo, this is y'all. This is, y'all are wisdom. Y'all have to go through some turbulent shit sometimes in order to build the wisdom to know how to transmute situations. You're mutables, baby. That's what you put here to do. You transmute negatives into positives. Okay? So a lot of y'all are going to be standing in your power, standing in your truths, actually stepping back and stepping outside of situations and looking at them, looking at them, <laughs> Instead of looking at the glass half empty, okay, or half full, yeah, it's just going to pour that shit in a smaller cup and even it out. Fuck it. I mean, now I know how to move forward. You know, I know how to gain my confidence out of uh, pretty much turn my pain into power. I know how to move in a room full of vultures. I've built that wisdom. That wisdom has been beat in me through my circumstances, okay? But some of you, you're healing through childhood issues, okay? And actually seeing them from a different perspective is going to bring your life up more more enlightenment during this time and the wisdom that you need to move forward. Okay, some of y'all are counselors, spiritual teachers, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with a water sign that has that energy, an older male, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Pisces, okay? But you have a decision to make during this time. Some of you can live in the past, okay? You can live in the past of sorrow and remorse and woulda, coulda, shouldas. You can live in this place where you dealt with somebody who was possibly really not really communicative to you, but... It's like they kind of lead you down the path of blind faith and the unknowing, but it's like 
y'all don't really like change that much. So with that, I mean, well, you don't really mind change. It's really like the stability around the changes. So you don't really like being led blind. Like that, that shit really bothers you when people don't communicate with you. But some of y'all have decisions to make. A lot of y'all have been in this place with someone. You've been in this crying over spilled milk place. And now it's time for you to walk through this third door, the door of enlightenment, the door of learning, the door of a new path, a very narrow one, might I add. Some of y'all during this time, watch who you telling your business to. Because some of y'all going to find out that your friend is real. Your friend, some of y'all friends that y'all that's helping you heal. I got you, sis. They sis and sis. Like that motherfucking snake, okay? Because watch who you're telling your business to. I strongly feel like for some of y'all, you're going to find out during this time that the same person who helped you pat you on the back, like, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it, sis. This is the same person who was going back to your ex and telling them your business. And they're the reason why y'all was at odds if they stopped just talking to you. You're going to find out that your friend ain't so friendly, okay? She want what you got. That's for somebody. A few people still say. Also, Fire element. Some of y'all got an Aries Leo Sag being very defensive towards you. Okay, this person is definitely a soulmate. And because this person, I feel like this person kind of flipped overnight. During this time, they are going to be a little defensive. Some of y'all have been waiting on this person to come back and return. They coming back, baby. They need to sort some things out for themselves. Spirit, please give me the messages for my Virgos between the 1st and 15th of September. What can they expect in love? Yeah, some of y'all are healing. Healing from a soulmate situation, possibly with a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all in the past, or possibly in the month of August or July, some of y'all find out that y'all was in third party situations, okay? Some of y'all found this out about an Aries. Some of y'all are waiting on an Aries to come back, baby, they coming. But you need to heal. Y'all, Both of y'all, it's kind of, but some of y'all, this Aries person, I feel like was sweeping, was sweeping their... They didn't want to be accountable for their actions. And I feel like this is somebody who actually put you in a third party situation. Yeah, some of y'all are actually focusing on work during this time. For those of you who are single, a lot of y'all not even worried about love. You're just focusing on work and actually healing yourself. Some of y'all are definitely going to going ending one cycle and going into a new one with an Aries. Some of y'all have Y'all, this Aries. For a lot of y'all, this is literally your soulmate. This is your counterpart. I got the king and the queen of pentacles up in here, okay? I'm sorry, pentacles. The king and the queen of wands, okay? For some of y'all, you could have put a, been put in a third-party situation uh, involving an Aries and a Sag, or also uh, you could have been involving a water sign and an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of y'all have been focusing on work just not to think about it, and that's where you've been finding your strength. You've been finding strength and getting money, okay? But what you don't know is, but some of you, you're going to leave a relationship during this time and move forward by yourself and just focus on your money. And might I ask if, bro, it's looking on the financial front, you moving forward by your damn self, okay? You're looking real good. Now, for some of you, you may feel like I'm lonely. I need, I want to, I want to, I, I, I do want that partnership. For some of y'all, some of y'all going to be working it out with a Leo during this time. I feel like y'all had a lot of snakes in y'all external. Whoever dealing with this Leo, you're going to find out that the outside, y'all outside environment had more so to do with y'all split. Like mama, sisters, more so of a woman figure. I feel like this could have been a mother or a sister, baby mother. But there was some type of mo a, a woman figure in a way. Some of y'all are definitely walking into um, new partnerships, divine partnerships with this Ace of Cups, okay? Possibly with a water sign or a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of y'all are actually going to make a judgment call. Judgment call, um, possibly dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, some of y'all wanted to revive something that was dead. For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. Okay, you wanted to revive something that was dead. For some of y'all, some of y'all is Pisces. You want this Ten of Pentacles. You want this happy home. You want to be happy, okay? But for some of y'all, you're going through a transformation, and you're just walking away from people who no longer value you, who no longer, you know, see the work, see see pretty much your self-worth. I don't know what's going on with my words. A lot of y'all can't get y'all words out right, because I was just fine. All of a sudden, I start staggering and stuttering and messing up. I'm like, Mercury Retrograde, go, and I've been doing pretty good. <laughs> some of y'all, um... Yeah, some of y'all got to get past this third party energy. Somebody want to move in the they want to live in the past. Some of y'all have a family with a fire sign, and this person is I feel like this person is not taking responsibility for 
their actions and the shit that they didn't done in the relationship. They rather just point the finger at you. Some of y'all have to make a judgment call regarding an Aries or another Virgo like yourself. I feel like this person, you can see yourself being with this person. This person actually has a great stability, around, stabilizing energy around them. However, this person can be indecisive. One minute they cool, the next minute they come out of bag on your ass. One minute they telling you, I don't want a relationship. The next minute y'all boot up. You don't know what the hell this person wants. And it makes it's a little frustrating because you're just like, what the F? Okay. Some of y'all are in love, okay? Some of y'all have a Sagittarius. <sighs> Some of y'all have a Sagittarius. You're going to find out the Sagittarius is being defensive towards you because they decide to go back to some partnership due to children with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of y'all, it's going to really hurt your feelings. You're not going to be able to eat, sleep. Why? Go to bed. Go your ass. Do not let one person have, no one person have that much power over you, baby. No, y'all ain't set up like that. Who does that? Mm -mm. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all have a a new partnership that's trying to blossom with the Libra, but this person is just straight to the point and pretty cut though with the words. And honestly, Virgo, I feel like if you just tell them this hurts my feelings instead of just eating it, because some of y'all not saying nothing, y'all just eating that shit for what? Tell this person to hurt your feelings. Some of y'all are having to walk away from a soulmate who could possibly be a Scorpio. I feel like this person, it's, it's a constant back and forth of the third party energy and shit. And you're just tired, okay? I also feel like, yeah, some of y'all are needing to heal from a situation that involves a Scorpio. For some of y'all, it involves an Aries as well. This could have been a third party situation because I'm strongly feeling that. Some of y'all have Gemini Libra Aquarius that you, you really want to work it out with this person. You want to work it out with this person. But... Maybe this person has left or is thinking about leaving. If they've been very distant towards you and they're not really saying nothing, but emp empathetically you can feel it, that's what's going on, Virgo. Some of y'all are in love with Aries. You're going to take a leap of faith with this person. And in doing so, you're going to find out a lot of things that you didn't know in the, you didn't know about in the past. Because I do see for some of y'all, you and this person is going through an awakening. Some of y'all... <laughs> Some of y'all going to find out you're pregnant. And if you was dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like you were healing from the situation. Then, boom, you find this out. This could also be a Libra as well or a Taurus. But some of y'all are going to find out you're pregnant. And just when you thought you was finna go on out the door, that person going to be like, no, where you going? We got a family on the way. What? what? And this is for the people who is not happy about this pregnancy. Come on now. Come on. Newness brings... Newness brings beautiful into your life, okay? Beautiful beginnings. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are ending the cycle, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like this person feels like what they do is not enough. Or you feel like everything that you're giving this person is not enough. You can see yourself having a family with this person. You want the whole Maybe you want the picket fence, the dog, the little white fluffy ass dog, all that. But this person, y'all having an issue with communication. One person is a strategizer in the mind and maybe show you something different through their actions. Some of y'all are ending the cycle with the fire sign. Strong emphasis on the Aries. Some of y'all moving towards Aries. Some of y'all are ending the cycle with an Aries. And for some of y'all, you're going to find out that the reason why this person moved away is because they went and had a kid. Um, with this night of rise, some of y'all are at odds with the fire sign due to the way that they talking to you. You just like, I'm over the shit. For some of y'all, you have a soulmate coming in in the form of a Leo, okay, or possibly a water sign. And this is going to be after ending it with the fire sign, okay? Or for some of y'all, ending it with another water sign. Also, who yeah. Y'all, this Scorpio, if you were dealing with a Scorpio and a Scorpio put you in a third party situation, it could have involved the Leo as well. Vice versa, if it was a Leo, it could have involved the Scorpio. And it was a situation that this person had been getting away with some shit for a long time. That shit finna hit the fan. Some of y'all got tower moments coming during the first and the 15th of September. But it has to fall out of your life so the, so the newness can come in, okay? Some of y'all are going to be moving forward, working on your relationship with the earth side. You feel like you've put the effort in with this person. You've put in the work. I was the person who got you with all these damn manners. And you got a job, man. You think I'm going to go let you go down the street with Keisha? No. Scratch all that. 
We're going to talk about it. We're going to fix it because that's what relationships are about. Putting in the work. Virgo, y'all put in the work. I can't get y'all that. Some of y'all going to move on and just focus on your money. Because for some of y'all, you're going to find out that, and this has Sagittarius vibes on it. Some of y'all are going to find out that you were possibly dealing with a Saggy. And this person could have been around for some time. This person could have put you in a third party situation. Went and made a kid, okay? Possibly with another earth sign, a Virgo or a Taurus, or possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And this person is kind of in an indecisive mode with you because they know that they have karma to go and clear up during this time. With this Six of Wands here, though, I do see it ending up swell. For some of y'all, you're going to have to drop this burden with the fire sign. Because you got a Pisces. Look, you got a Pisces to be with. And for some of y'all, it's a Cancer. For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. But water is definitely coming in your life to bring you out that love for your birthday. <laughs> yes. I do see for some of y'all, you are expecting an outcome. You're, you're expecting what you want. You're expecting your Ten of Cups to have a, I mean, your Ten of Cups and your Ten of Pentacles to have a particular face on it, baby. And to be honest, as long as you just stay open and receiving, you're going to get what you want, but it may not look like what you want it to look like, okay? But some of y'all, y'all being defensive towards love altogether. You got offers coming in, especially a strong emphasis of a Capricorn or a Taurus, and you just like, nah, you got a fire sign being defensive towards you. And you just feeling like, no, I'm just going to focus on my coin. Even though this earth sign yeah, I feel like this person is freshly getting themselves together. So they're trying to offer you that stability, but it's going to be done turtle slow. And some of y'all ain't got time for that. No, I want my Ten of Pentacles now. Some of y'all are stalking. <laughs> some of y'all, if you got a child with somebody, okay, and you separated from this person, baby, they is watching your social media. They got their friends watching, okay? Again, some of y'all better use condoms if you do not want babies because the baby energy is in the building. And some of y'all are going to be moving, like, moving into new homes. Congratulations, baby. Some of y'all get new jobs. Congratulations, baby. Some of y'all have getting pregnant. Congratulations, baby. Some of y'all are starting something new, possibly with a Leo, after just finding out some ultimate deception. But I feel like with a lot of y'all, the towers have to fall in order, especially if you're going to stay where you are in the family situation, the towers have to file, baby, in order to clear it, to clear all the past negative shit out for new energy. So it let let it happen. It has to happen. For some of y'all, you had an earth sign that had moved away and thought they had the grass was green on the other side. They coming back. They want to water their own damn grass and they bring the dog with them. Okay. For some of them, <laughs> some of y'all, you've been dealing with this person for seven years, seven months. They ain't going no damn well. Y'all have y'all little, y'all little moments or whatnot. But some of y'all during this time will be rejecting a water sign. This will be a younger person, a younger water sign and a fire sign. The only thing they want is sex. You want a commitment out of these people. And you're going to find out through communication that may be a little reckless because Again, if you're dealing with, if this is an Aries or a Sag, y'all communication finna be lit. If it's a Leo, you could possibly be finding out some shit. Or Aries, a re, pretty much fire energy is surprise, surprise to Virgo during the 1st to the 15th of this month, y'all. We gonna pray about it, because this shit is interesting. Y'all comment, let me know what's going on, because I feel like I'm all over the place with these cards and screaming. Oh, kind of, Virgo, y'all got it going on through your birthday season, okay? I feel like some of y'all are really wanting an earth sign. To make that offer. For some of y'all, they're going to make that offer. However, they got to face their own tower moments. And for some of y'all, it's just the reality of being able to recreate elsewhere. And being able to have that equal give and take with somebody. Because maybe in their past, they were giving, giving, giving and wasn't getting shit. And then here you come with all this love. And they just like, what the hell? Like, you come out of nowhere loving me all perfect. How the hell am I going to accept this? You'll be surprised to know that some people do have Aries, for example. Cause that was something I struggled with, and I'm Aries. Some people do have issues with accepting love, like genuine love, especially when you ain't been loved right in your past, and then you find somebody who loves you with everything. It's a bit scary because you just be like, "Who sent you? What do you want? You gonna do something? You know, it's so you have to nurture your relationship. For those of you who are thinking about stepping out in a third party." 
the person who you're talking to, especially if you're married, I'm hearing married, the person who you're talking to, the younger fire sign, the water sign, they ain't shit, they got the energy of in and out, they just want to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, they ain't trying to love on you, water your own damn grass, okay? I love you, my babies. This is what I got from the 1st to the 15th of September. If you need that personal, hit me up. It's below. Love y'all. Oh, don't forget, y'all, $50 special for 30 minutes. It's usually 65 But y'all, my babies, y'all the only one got a special until the 22nd, so we rocking. Love y'all. Bye, babies.